Hello friends, welcome to Striving Aspirants. In this video presentation, we are continuing with the accounting ratios. Today we are going to discuss regarding profitability ratios. As we know, every business is starting with the main intention or main objective to earn profit. Hence, it is very much important in a business how the profit is varying, what are the factors affecting the variation for this earning of this profit. When we talk about profit, we have to consider the platform we calculate the profit. It is the trading account and the profit and loss account or we will say the income statement where we will check what is the profit earned by a business. Here we will check what is the sales amount attained by a business, what all expense incurred by a business and how effective the resources available in the business are utilized. These ratios analyze the earning capacity of the business. And here we will check the financial performance of a business. Also, the resource employed in the business. If it is perfectly utilized or efficiently utilized, we are in a position to attain better profit in the business. These are the various ratios coming under profitability, gross profit ratio, operating ratio, operating profit ratio, net profit ratio, return on investment, return on net worth, earnings per share, book value per share, dividend payout ratio and price earning ratio. Let us check all these ratio one by one. First one is gross profit ratio. The formula to calculate gross profit ratio is gross profit divided by net sales into 100. In this ratio we will check how much percentage of gross profit earned with respect to its net sales in the business. This ratio indicates the gross margin or the margin available to cover operating expense and non-operating expense etc. Changes in the selling price or cost of sales or a combination of both will make changes in this ratio. When there is a low ratio, it indicates unfavorable purchase and sales policy and the higher gross profit ratio is a good sign. Next one is operating ratio. Calculation formula is cost of sales plus operating expense divided by net sale multiplied by 100. Operating expense includes office expense, administrative expense, selling and distribution expenses. Cost of operation is determined by excluding non-operating income and expense such as loss on sale of assets, interest paid, dividend received, loss by fire, speculation gain, etc. The main intention of this operating ratio is to calculate the operational cost in relation to sales. Next one is operating profit ratio. Operating profit ratio equal to 100 minus operating ratio or it can be calculated as operating profit ratio equal to operating profit divided by sales multiplied by 100 where operating profit equal to sales minus cost of operation. Operating ratio is computed to express cost of operations excluding financial charges in relation to sales. This will help to analyze performance of business and the operational efficiency of the business. Also it is useful for inter-firm as well as 
intra firm comparisons lower operating ratio is a very healthy sign next one is net profit ratio it relates sales to net profit after operational as well as non operation expense and incomes the calculation formula is net profit divided by sales multiplied by 100 generally net profit refers to profit after tax pat the importance of this npr is it is a measure of net profit margin with respect to its sales and another important point related to net profit ratio is it is the main variable in computation of return on investment also this will reflect the overall efficiency of business assumes great significance from the point of view of investors next one is return on capital employed or investment roce or roi this will explain the overall utilization of fund by a business here the capital employed means long term funds which came into the business or which is employed in the business and which includes shareholders fund debentures and long term loans calculation formula is profit before interest and tax divided by capital employed multiplied by 100 let us check the importance of roce or roi it measures return on capital employed in business it shows the efficiency of business in utilization of funds entrusted to its by shareholders, venture holders and long term liabilities. For inter firm comparison, return on capital employed which reveal overall utilization of fund which is considered to be good measure of profitability. It will also help in assessing whether the firm is earning a higher return on capital employed as compared to the interest rate paid. Next one is return on shareholders fund or net worth. This ratio assesses whether shareholders investment in the firm generates a reasonable return or not. It should be higher than the return on investment otherwise it would imply that company's funds have not been employed profitably. The calculation formula is profit after tax divided by shareholders fund next one is earning per share the calculation is profit available for equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares earnings refer to profit available for equity shareholders which is worked out as profit after tax minus dividend on preference shares this ratio is important from equity shareholders point of view and so also for the share price in the stock market. This ratio will help in comparison with other firms to ascertain its reasonableness and capacity to pay dividend. Next one is book value per share. We will calculate as equity shareholders fund divided by number of equity shares. Equity shareholder fund refers to shareholders fund minus preference share capital. This ratio gives an idea about value of equity shareholders holding and affects market price of the shares. Next one is dividend payout ratio. The calculation is a dividend per share divided by earnings per share. This is the proportion of earnings that are distributed against shareholders. This will reflect company's dividend policy and growth in owner's equity. And lastly, price earning ratio. Calculation is market price of a share divided by earnings per share. Let us understand this one with an example. If EPS of a company is 10 and market price is 100, the price earning ratio will be 100 divided by 10. And the answer is 10. This ratio will reflect investors' expectation about the growth in the firm's earnings and reasonableness of the market price of its shares. These ratios will be vary from industry to industry and company to company and which is depend upon the 
investors perception of their future it's all about their plans or investors plans according to which the ratio will vary so that's all about the profitability ratios i just uh, gone fast and uh, didn't explain uh, too much regarding these profitability ratios i just give a summary of this profitability ratio we will see in the next video with the example to understand the profitability ratios better so until then it's bye from striving aspirants take care bye bye